Hey guys, welcome back to Sparkle Eats. I'm Megan from Sparkle. Did you get an air fryer maybe for Christmas and it's still sitting in the box and you're not sure what to do with it? Or do you love your air fryer like I do and just want a new recipe? Well, I have the perfect one for you today. We are making bang bang shrimp and that is a recipe that I have heard a lot of people either want to make or they love to order at a restaurant but don't know how to make it. So we're taking away a lot of the calories by air frying it instead of frying it in a pan of oil. So here I have one pound of raw shrimp and I took the tails off. I you know, bought it um, already deveined and you just wanna take the shells off. So I have a pound here and I'll go through our ingredients because this is really simple so I'm just gonna go through it pretty fast. Then we have our cornstarch. You wanna use cornstarch, not flour, about a cup or so. Then we have buttermilk and then we have panko breadcrumbs. I'm using the unseasoned here. And don't skip the panko breadcrumbs, don't use just regular. The panko gets extra crispy. So then, all you wanna do is take your shrimp, and this is way easier just to do by hand. So you wanna take that, go into the cornstarch, then into your buttermilk, and then into your breadcrumbs. So here I have my, uh, my air fryer basket here. I'm going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. Make sure you do that. And then I'm going to just set those in there. And you wanna go, put, you can put a good amount in here, but you don't want them touching too much just so everything gets nice and you know browned on all sides so our shrimp is coated in in the bottom of our air fryer basket so all we want to do is now put it into our air fryer we'll turn it on up to 400 degrees for four minutes now this is going to be halfway done once we do it and then you have to flip it midway through so we're going to let that just keep cooking and while that's going, we'll put together our bang bang sauce. So here I have uh, about a third of a cup or so of mayonnaise, and then I'm adding to it a sweet chili sauce. Then for a little spice, I'm adding some sriracha, about a teaspoon, and if you don't like spicy, you can skip that, and then just a clove of garlic. So our shrimp is done for the first side, so you just wanna take this out and flip your shrimp. So they get nice and brown on each side. Now we want to put our air fryer basket back in and let this go for another three minutes. Now this is where you want to keep an eye on it just because you know some of the air fryers work a little different and you know shrimp is a different size so you don't want to overcook it. So we're going to let this go for three minutes and if we had to add a minute or two feel free to go ahead and do that. So you may need to do your shrimp in batches, but once all of your batches are done, just serve it up on a platter with the sauce and you have a great appetizer or even a dinner if you pair this with some vegetables and rice. 